Hello, it is I. Now, Forza Horizon 5 has a huge diverse car list. And though the cars in this game are fantastic, there may be some cars which aren't in the game which you want to drive. Well, no worries, because in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create 9 cars in Forza Horizon 5 which are not seen in the game. Anyways, 4,000 likes is the target as per usual. Also, if you want to see more DIY videos like this in the near future, then let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to this video. me about Forza is that all the M3s have been two doors. Wait, what about the wagons? What about the sedans? Well, don't you worry because you can actually make an E90 M3 sedan in Forza Horizon 5, which is crazy. Now, to do this, all you need to do is get an E92 M3 and have a lot of patience. Right, once you've got your car ready, go to apply vinyls and decals and go to the back of the car, get a square vinyl and try and color match it to the tail light of the car. So, hey, you know what? I think this is pretty close. Okay, it's slowly coming along nice this is taking way longer than i thought and let's mirror this to the other side and look at that and just like that you made your very own e90 m3 oh my days it looks so good i'm sure it still has two doors but from the back it actually looks like a sedan and the thing is e90s actually use the e92 front ends for their m3 variant so this is so realistic Now in Forza Horizon 5, we have the Dodge Viper ACR, which is a really cool car and I do like it a lot. But what if it's a bit too aggressive for you? Maybe you want something a little bit more discreet like, I don't know, maybe a standard SRT10? Well, no worries because in Forza Horizon 5, you can make your very own standard Dodge Viper. To do this, go to Custom Upgrade and change the wheels out to something a little bit more discreet. Anyways, after installing that, go into Aero and Appearance and yep, you guessed it, get rid of the wing. Anyways, to paint the car, I recommend recommend going for a very discreet color maybe something like this blue anyways for the wheels yes i know i changed the wheels i'm sorry anyways go for aluminium semi-gloss because that would look really good on this car and now yep you guessed it it's time to add some stripes to this car so i'm gonna add some white stripes to this car i'm gonna add two of them let's make it thinner there you go that is perfect anyway select these two and then go into create new layer group and then cut it and then paste it and then paste it onto the front and of course same thing on the back come on and just like that you created your very own standard Dodge Viper. Wow, look at that, because you don't like the ACR. If you don't like the ACR, then you need some help because the ACR is really cool. ever seen two G-Wagons in the whole of Forza's history. Now don't get me wrong, these are cool, but what if you want a 4x4 squared? Well no worries because you can actually make your very own 4x4 squared, and to do this all you need is a G65 like the one I'm driving right now. Once you've got that car, go to the conversions and then install a wide body kit. Oh my god, look at that, that's beautiful. Now the 4x4 squared actually uses identical wheels to this, so all you need to do now is to increase the tire profile like this on the front and on the rear. Now to paint the car, yep, you already know what colour I'm going for. Let's paint it the most obnoxious yellow lime green colour we can find. Something like this, I think would be good. Also, don't forget to make the inside part of the wheels black like so. And look at that, that looks so good already. And now let's go to apply vinyls and decals and apply a black vinyl to the roof of the car like this. Also, don't forget the sides as well. And just like that, you made your very own 64. <laughs> Get it? Like, yeah, it's 4x4 square. But like the indices goes first, so it's like 4 times 4, which is 69, you times 4, and it's 64. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so Asian, man. Forza Horizon 5, we have a Mercedes racing truck, which is really cool. But what if you want a real truck like the ones you get in Euro Truck Simulator? Well, lucky for you, I have these sorted. So first of all, make sure to get this Mercedes Actros racing truck. And now it's time to paint the truck. And yep, you guessed the color right. We're painting it white. And now we're painting the sides of the truck black like this. Make sure to select all the layers, go to create new layer group, and then mirror it to the other side. I've also painted the back of the truck black and the top of the truck black as well, excluding the actual cab bit. Now let's go to the front of the truck and what colour are we going to paint it? Yep, you guessed it, black. Okay, now this all looks very weird at the moment, but once you change the material to matte black like so, look at that, that completely transforms the truck. Okay, now I've searched up Actros and I'm going to put these headlights on the front of the truck. Let's put 
put it over here. Look at that. That looks so good. Also, for the tail lights, I'm going to use the same person's design. Look at that. That is brilliant. And just like that, you are done. Yep, you can now live out your Euro Truck Simulator dreams in Forza Horizon 5. Here's a question for you, name a racing game with a larder. Oh, oh, oh you can't? Well no worries because Forza Horizon 5 is going to be the first. Because today we're going to be creating our very own Larder 1600. Anyways to do this, get yourself a Datsun 510 like the one I'm driving right now. Look at it, it's a very cute car. Anyways, once you've got your car, well you don't need to do anything. It basically looks like a larder already. But I'm going to make an attempt anyway, so I'm going to paint this car orange like this. And now we're going to paint a black stripe on the side of the car like this and then we're going to make it as thin as possible and as long as possible as well. Oh my god, look at that. And now let's mirror it to the other side and look at that. That looks so good. And now let's add a black cloth roof to, well, the roof. Anyways, now change the vinyl material to matte like so. Also, we cannot forget the larder badge. And well done, you basically just created your very own larder 1600. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this does genuinely look like a larder. This is crazy. There are so many hurricanes in Forza Horizon 5, but how there is no Storato in the game is a crime. But don't you worry, because we can actually make our very own Storato. And to do that, we need to get ourselves a Hurricane Evo. Anyways, once you've got your car ready, go to the suspension and raise the car with the off-road suspension. Then go to the tyres and install some off-roading tyres. I know this one isn't realistic, but screw it, we're gonna go over the top, okay? Also, make sure to bring the wheels out as far out as possible so it looks really off-roady. Now, for the paint of the car, I'm gonna go for this sort of military olive green sort of color that they put on actual Storato in real life. Okay, so I'll search up Hurricane in the vinyl store place and now I'm gonna search for the uh, Liberty Walk white arts like this. And even though this car does not have a wide body kit, I'm gonna put it on here so, so it kind of like, looks like it has a wide body kit if you get what I mean. Anyways, at the back of the car, let's put a massive black sticker on the back diffuser so it looks very off-roady. Let's also make the roof black because the Hurricane Storato actually has a black roof. I don't think it's like this, but it's still a black roof. Let's also apply a black vinyl on the side of the car that's sort of angled down like this. Also, come on, we cannot forget about the orange accents on the side. Also, orange accents on the front as well. Come on, we have to do this. Look at that. And there you go. Lamborghini Hurricane Sterato made by me and oh my god, it looks so bad. But hey, it's the best that I could do, okay? So, hey, I'm sorry if it looks bad, but hey, I'm an amateur. I don't do this stuff for a living, okay? we have car manufacturers from all over the world but none from india which is really weird anyways maybe you want to make your very own indian car maybe something like i don't know a mahindra thar well no worries because all you need to do is get yourself a jeep wrangler like the one i'm driving right now now you can actually swap out the wheels for some thin five spoke wheels maybe something like these american racing ar9901s now go to apply vinyls and decals go to the front bumper and apply a black vinyl like this this. Make sure it turns all those little slats into this sort of big grill kind of like this. Okay, now you can paint those black bits grey like this. Now apply this rounded square shape thing behind that uh, painted bit. Make sure it's all symmetrical and then select all these shapes, copy it and then paste it twice and then move the second bit down like this. Anyways, at the end your car should look something like this. And just like that you made your very own Mahindra Thar. Yep, it's basically just a Jeep Wrangler with some weird grill on it. For Forza Horizon 5, we have the Aventador, the Aventador SV, the Aventador SVJ, and the Aventador J. But what if that's not enough? What if you want another Aventador? Well, no worries, because you can actually create your very own 50th anniversary Aventador in Forza Horizon 5. Now, the first thing you need to do is go into Aero and Appearance, go to the rear wing, and yep, you guessed it, get rid of the wing. And now, let's get into the wheels, and let's change the wheels out for something a little bit more appropriate. Anyways, after you've done that, go into the paint and paint the the car yellow because this is like the most common color for these special edition cars also i'm gonna hate to do this but make sure to paint the wheels black oh my god they look so bad anyways after you've done that go to the front bumper and make sure to paint that little yellow bit black as well like this then you can make your way to the rear bumper and do the exact same thing yep you have to paint it black anyways now you go to the side of the car and now you apply a black vinyl around here do this bit and then extend it a little bit and then do this bottom bit as well anyways once you've done all that go to the vinyl material and make everything matte black and just like that you can 
celebrated your very own 50th anniversary Lamborghini Aventador LP720-4. Okay, now this car would have looked a lot better if you could actually change the colour of that little yellow bit at the back of the car, but you can't, so yeah. Now we actually have all generations of Porsche 911 GT3 RS in Forza Horizon 5, which is really cool. Apart from the 992 and the 996. Now the 992 is a fairly new car, so I reckon we'll probably see it through the festival playlist. But did you know that you can actually make your very own 996 GT3 RS in Forza Horizon 5? Well, you can, and that's why it's in this video. Anyways, to make this car, make sure to get yourself a 996 GT3 like the one I'm driving right now. Okay, once you've got your car ready, go into the performance and handling, go into weight reduction, and reduce the weight to 1350 and now it's time to add a roll cage which is actually pretty similar looking to the actual roll cage you get in a GT3 RS. Also the wheels on the car are identical to the ones you get on the GT3 RS so you don't need to change that but what we do need to do is add Forza Aero but don't worry because this one actually looks really good. And now go to find new designs and find yourself a GT3 RS livery like this one that one looks so good and just like that you made your very own GT3 GT3 RS replica in Forza Horizon 5. Well hello there, if you enjoyed this video then make sure to watch this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel, watch this video, thank you very much, cheers.